Hello everyone, Saz Balayani is here bringing you the natural size of life. And as you can see, I am making something different. But I'm still making soap, y'all. If y'all are interested in seeing what type of soap I am here creating, please stay tuned. Hit that likey like button and subscribe to my channel. So today, y'all, we are making hot processed soap y'all so the thing about hot process soap is that we add everything into a double boiler or a crock pot as you see here so this crock pot is what i chose to use okay um i'm sorry i may um pause a little bit because my kids are home helping with homework and i'm also not feeling too well y'all I got like some type of food poisoning going on in my stomach, but y'all, I'm still trying to get this video out. So today I am using sal butter. Sal butter is so beneficial to your skin, especially if you have like psoriasis or dry skin, irritated skin, sensitive skin. It's really good and hydrating and it's a heavier butter so it stays, you stay moisturized longer. Sal butter is a lot harder, harder than shea butter. I love to use sal butter in a lot of my um, bath and body care. So as you see, I am adding all my oils directly into the crock pot so it can get hot and heat up. The sal butter and the coconut oil was in a solid state, so we will wait until all of that is melt it down before we add our hot lye water solution. Okay, so this is how everything is looking as of right now. We are just stirring it up a little bit and now you can see everything has melted down. This was about 20 minutes um later everything has melted down we're gonna wait till all the little pieces melt down as well as it is now so now that everything is all melted down i am now adding my organic coconut milk directly into my oils before i add my light water solution just note that when you do add oils to i mean milk to your oils you have to do the water discount with your lye solution so basically you just would subtract whatever milk you are using from whatever liquid other liquid aloe vera juice water you are using so i am going to incorporate this really good with my blender yes y'all i got a new blender Woo! -woo. so i'm incorporating it real good before i actually add my lye water solution into it okay because it still gets hot everything gets hot it gets bubbly it gets messy it gets fun it gets hot though so you have to be sure that you are properly covered here i am adding my live water solution okay giving it a start a start and then you see it instantly changes so you will see a lot of color changing a lot of texture changing i'm adding my um ground oats and my kaolin clay as well and we're just going to give this a good blending up okay let everything get all incorporated really good As you are finna see the texture is already thickening up it's gonna get a lot more thicker than this so I'm just stirring it every 10 to 15 minutes because the texture change 
rapidly okay and it will bubble up and bubble over on you if you, you see it's getting thicker and thicker and thicker so we are getting somewhere y'all so like I said every 10 to 15 minutes I'm coming back checking on it and you see the texture is definitely changing the soap is definitely soaping okay like I said this is getting hot so I'm also going in with my blender before it gets too thick whereas it might break the blender but this is a powerful blender so it can hold up to the storm but as you can see it is changing y'all and this is what the stages that it go goes through I saw it like forming up on the side and I did not want it to boil over so I instantly took the pot the top off and I'm stirring it stirring it so this weight consists of a lot of stirring and checking up on it this is definitely the longer way of soap making but the thing about the high process soap it doesn't have to cure for the whole four weeks even though I still allow my soap to cure for the whole four weeks you can actually use the soap instantly wait two weeks the lye has already been cooked in and um i'm trying to find a word to use but i can't really think of the words to use right now but as you can see it's getting thick my terminology with the wording of soap making is not a one y'all so I'm definitely going to speak to you in ways that you will understand, okay? So now I am definitely spinning it with the blender, um, but I'm not actually blending it up. I'm just using that to give it a good swirling and a whip. Now I'm about to blend it up a little bit. As you see, I'm blending it up just to emerge everything together as I'm also constantly stirring it as you see it's like bubbling up bubbling up but at this time it is starting to get to its last point of where um if we can add our additives and stuff like that so this way is definitely longer and then as you can see the color is changing everything is boiling out of the soap the soap is turning into soap and at this point you can add your additives but you have to constantly keep stirring if the crock pot is not off you want to get everything incorporated the little pieces on the side everything y'all so here I am about to add my first additive which will be honey I added honey with a little bit of water just to give it a little um, slip to it okay because this stuff does get hard fast and yeah I'm just getting all my residue from around the side so everything can be whipped in and incorporated okay like I said, this part had, consists of a lot of stirring. You don't want it to burn. You don't want it to stick. You have to stay on it. This is like making fufu, y'all. Okay, if you ever had fufu, this is like how fufu is cooked. You have to keep stirring it, stirring it, stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. But my first additive, like I said, will be honey. And I also will be adding some vanilla bean um, in as well. Vanilla bean is a natural fragrant. And it's also, you give it a little exfoliation as well. Okay, so 
here is where I add the honey with the water and I just pour it in and I'm incorporating it, mixing it all up because this will stick and get messy on you. So that is not what you want. So you must, must, must keep stirring. Just keep stirring. Even if that carpal tunnel kick in, keep stirring, girl. <laughs> here is the vanilla bean. Um, it was a powder, but I added oil to it so it can be like more of a paste. And this vanilla bean smells so good in high processed soap because it's, it gives off a vanilla type of aroma. I really do love using vanilla bean powder in my soaps, y'all. That's some plus for me. Here I am just stirring. Now I'm adding my fragrance mixed with some kaolin clay just so it can give it en enough um, slip to it so that I can. I do want to make this a two-tone color soap. So I am going to be splitting this off and putting it in a smaller container. As you see here, I will be putting this in a smaller container because I want to make this part white and I want to keep the other part brown. And even though it's looking like a dark green color, this color will go away as the soap cures and gets to its natural state. Here I am mixing up my white, mixing it really, really good. And then I'm going to um, incorporate it back with the brown so it can be like a marble effect. If that's how you would like to do yourself, that is what you will do. You will mix the white and then you will mix the mix it in with the brown and then you will mix it all together and then put it in a mold that way. Okay, y'all, so we have finally made it to the molding part. So here I will be plopping my hot process soap right into its mold, y'all. And I am saying plopping because usually I'm pouring my soap. Unless it's some um, soap that accelerated too fast and I'll be plopping it. But in this case, this is the hot process soap, so we have to plop it and um, bang it down to, in order to remove all air, bro air, air bubbles and close all the gaps and stuff like that from it being plopped in there. We don't want a holy soap, okay y'all? So make sure y'all pack it down in there really, really good. And also, make sure you mold the top because if yours is kind of thick like mine, um, you may have to mold the top with your hands or uh, anything you may want to use, y'all. I like to use my hands with this because it gives me bread vibes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like it it reminds me of making bread. So after I get all my soap in there and the mold really good, I am going to be pushing down and forming the top with my hands. And I'm also going to include some oatmeal, okay? I'm going to put oatmeal on top, grounded oats and whole oats. But I know the whole oats might not stick, so just watch and see, y'all.
So for the remainder of this video, I will be just pressing and molding, pressing and molding, ensuring that I don't have any air bubbles in my soap, trying to form the top to look better than what it is looking, okay? But this soap smells amazing. This is a hot process oatmeal, milk, and honey soap made with natural ingredients. And this is also has a fragrance of oatmeal, milk, and honey as well. So... If you like this video, if you made it this far, please drop some bubbles down below and let your girl know what you think about this soap video. And until next time, y'all, make sure y'all come over to Styles by Leilani, all one word, Styles by Leilani, and get y'all some all natural bath and body care by me today, okay? this everything i make is essential for the skin like that's what we going for i was born with eczema and i don't have no signs of eczema now okay so y'all just rock with your girl and until next time y'all bye